One thing's for certain. Need you right here. What's up, y'all? You already know it is time for another secret letter. But first, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been caught in between two men? Well, listen, this week's uh, writer has, all right? And her letter starts off by saying, Hi, Chris, I need some advice. I've been seeing this older man for about a year now. He takes very good care of me. I don't have to want for anything. He pays my mortgage, car note, and keeps money in my pocket. I just don't know what else he can do for me. The sex is mediocre, and we really don't have good conversation other than the superficial stuff. I never really thought about any of this before until I met the guy at the car wash. He is very attractive and has a great personality, although he doesn't have much else going on for him. He works at a retail store, which I wouldn't mind if we are teenagers, but we are both in our early 40s. The sex with him is amazing and I really enjoy his company, but I feel bad messing with two men at the same time. My question is to you, who should I let go? Well, I can't tell you who to let go and who to keep. I mean, I don't want to be that homegirl giving you bad advice. This is just something you're going to have to weigh the pros and cons on, okay? Listen, I, like, am all for dating multiple people, you know what I'm saying, until you find out, with you know, who's who and who's going to stick, you know what I'm saying, who's the one. So I wouldn't recommend sleeping with all of them because, you know, this day and age, you never know, you know what I'm saying, but... You know, date multiple people. Now, your issue is you got an older man that's providing for you financially and not anything else physically, mentally, emotionally. There's nothing else there but finances. And then you have this, you know, average Joe who's attractive. Y'all have great sex. Y'all have, you know, he has a great personality. But the question is, are we talking... Social Security old, deathbed old, like he on his last lid old, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, what's happening with that? Because, you know, some girls, you know what I'm saying, might just want to wait till, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, kick the bucket and, you know what I'm saying, get that check. So, I don't know if you that type of girl, but if I was you, I would go with the with the car wash dude i mean don't hate on him because he works at the retail store he might be the manager of that retail store you know what i'm saying and you're never gonna get what you want everything you want and one man first of all and then second of all there are plenty of men out there that's providing for their families and making things happen with regular ass jobs. So don't don't hate on him, okay? Because what do you do? You 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 out here brain searching people or what? But I I mean, if I was you, I would you know what I'm saying. See where things go. I would keep dating both of them until you find out if that is serious or not. Which one is more serious? Add a couple more men in there and date them. Don't have sex with them though. I'm not condoning that. But you know what I'm saying. You got to you got to play the field until you find the right one, girl. Um, but that's all I got for you. Um, I hope that helps. I hope that kind of gives you some insight on which way you should go. But like I said. I ain't telling you which one, because if something don't work out with one, you can't blame it on me, all right? Now, if you guys have a letter you would like to share and start a conversation, hit your girl up, contact at chrisking.com. I'll see you guys next week. Girl, I need you here by my side. Let's get nasty, let's